गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देशपांडे वी आर इन आयुर्वेद कॉलेज डिग्री प्राधिकरण पुणे 44. इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आर सम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ पी जी टूडे इज अ फ्राइडे डेट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल रेस्पिरेशन एंड यू नो दैट ऑलरेडी वी हैव मेड अ शूटिंग ऑफ वन सेशन एंड इन विच शूटिंग वी हैव कवर सम बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी ऑल्सो सीन ऑन द यूर स्लाइड्स they are like the two methods of prone position that is schaefer's method and holger nelson methods that we have already studied on the ppts as well as we have seen its demonstration now we will go on the slide number 13 on the screen by which we will proceed for the next methods of artificial respiration so we can go to the slides this we will start with the next method of artificial respiration which is called as a sylvester's method or lift chest pressure method the difference is previous two methods were in prone position now this is in supine position that means the person will have to lie on the back or other we will make the patient to lie on the back pillow or small height up method is given below the shoulder and neck is fully extended doctor will kneel near patient's head facing towards him he will catch patient's wrist and by bending forward he will put patient's arms up this will cause inspiration then bending forward he will put deep pressure on chest with patient's hands this will cause expiration inspiration should last for 3 seconds and expiration for 2 seconds main advantage of this method is both inspiration as well as expiration are active so good ventilation is obtained disadvantages are patient is in supine position so there is no drainage of water from lungs so this method should not be used in cases of drowning remember in drowning you have to use previous two methods that is schaefer's method or holger nelson method but not sylvester method this sylvester method is also tiring method so assistance is needed if there is a rib fracture or the thorax fracture this method cannot be used last method that we are going to see is mouth to mouth respiration this is the best method of artificial respiration doctor kneels near patient's neck facing towards him pillow is given below shoulder so as to extend the neck fully with the left hand patient's nostrils are closed tissue paper or handkerchief is put on patient's mouth doctor will blow expired air in patient's mouth this will cause inspiration by taking mouth away expiration occurs passively advantages of this method are giving expired air which of course contain the carbon dioxide that is co2 which stimulate patient's respiratory center so good ventilation is obtained inspiration is active expiration is passive which is physiological this is the best method of artificial respiration in newborn babies only this advantage is that this is in supine position water from abdomen if it is not drained may regurgitate back into the lungs and this will cause respiratory infection artificial respiration is started at the site of accident and continued till the patient is shifted to the hospital if patient starts breathing of his own act of respiration is synchronized with patient's act of respiration now we have seen that when artificial respiration is given respiration is stopped but heart is continued now another case if heart is stopped then we have to give external cardiac massage as well so when external cardiac massage is given 
when there is cardiac arrest and how we diagnose no pulsations at femoral artery it is given by putting left palm on the sternum and impacts are given by right palm with this cardiac massage mouth to mouth respiration can be continued with 4 to 1 ratio but with all our efforts the there is no benefit and the patient is died how we can diagnose the signs of death so these are the signs of death fixed dilated pupils which are not reacting to light number 1 so the patient is died no heart sounds heard no pulse no radial pulse and no recordable blood pressure this all will indicate that the patient is already died and there is no use of your artificial respiration or cardiac massage my dear friends after this preliminary slide show i am going to demonstrate you the next two methods which are done in supine position sylvester method and mouth to mouth respiration and external cardiac massage so we will take a pause and go for demonstration so i am demonstrating now sylvester method this is done in the you can see this is the supine position previously it was prone position that means the person was lying on his stomach now the person is lying on his back so this is called as supine position so now the next two methods are done in supine position but remember these methods are not useful in the cases of drowning because water will not be drained from the stomach and the chest and that will be the problem so first i am going to put this particular towel below the shoulders so mr kari please lift up your shoulders okay thank you so you can see this chin up position this is very important and now we are going to start the sylvester method for the inspiration the doctor will hold his hand and take it up so this is inspiration okay inspiration and then putting the hand on the chest i am placing this is expiration so two things are there again i am putting the hands down so you have to take the hands up like stretch it up this is inspiration and then putting down the chest place it that is expiration both the methods are active i am actively doing this it will need some energy so in this method also sometime we will require some assistance to help you so inspiration is for 3 seconds and expiration for the 2 seconds how i am going to do see i am saying the words up 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 again hands down again up 1 2 3 1 okay so this particular method is called as a sylvester method but this should not be used in the case of drowning because water will not be drained out in this supine position ha huh? other all other things are how we already seen in the ppt so we are going to further method of artificial respiration that is called as mouth to mouth respiration okay so my dear friends next method is mouth to mouth respiration this is the ideal method this is the best method in all the processes but this is again in the supine position and not in the prone position so if you do not drain the water from stomach and chest out that water may regurgitate into the lungs and there will be infection so first take care that water should be drained out by any ways otherwise you don't use this method this method is very good in the infants newborn infants so this is called as mouth to mouth respiration here you have to give again the pillow you can see this pillow under the shoulder so head up chin up position and then you have to put the paper on his mouth or handkerchief even sometimes ambu bag is also connected over here and i am closing the nostrils and i am taking the deep breath and expire in the patient's mouth when i am giving expired air that is called as a inspiration which is active and then passively expiration will take place so inspiration is active expiration is passive this is the best method physiological method of artificial respiration once again i will show you close the nostril pinch of the nostril 
take a deep breath so this is i am giving carbon dioxide expired air and that carbon dioxide will stimulate the respiratory center in the brain and he will start automatic his own respiration so this is mouth to mouth once again so this is mouth to mouth type of respiration okay so this is all methods of artificial respiration next you can take this a little bit up okay now i have said you that artificial respiration is given when there is respiration is stopped and heart is continues to beat but now in front of me is the patient who is heart has stopped that is called as a cardiac arrest no heart sound no pulse no femoral artery pulsations so when i get idea that the person has heart has also stopped then immediately i have to start giving the external cardiac massage and that external cardiac massage how to do this is the central bone sternum the last part of it is called as a zippy sternum so i have to put my left palm on the zippy sternum and with the right palm like this i have to give the impacts when i am doing this cardiac massage at the same time some other person can do the mouth to mouth breathing so like that but remember this ratio should be like that 4 to 1 that means when four forks first four impacts are given one respiration should be given because you know normal respiration is 14 per minute and this is 72 per minute so this should be the ratio so this is regarding the external cardiac massage but we have already seen sometimes because of all these even efforts the patient is died how to diagnose that patient is died first check the eyes you put the torch over there the pupils are not reacting to the light then take the pulse you will see that there is no pulsation third thing you note the blood pressure and you will find that is not recordable so all these signs will indicate that the patient is died but my request is after getting preliminary training of this type of what we can say the first aid you can definitely save the patient when there is a road accident so i hope that this videos two sections of artificial respiration will definitely help in your life thank you